Your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Stephen Bowers. All right, I've been talking all week long about this incoming storm system, and the first impact it brings to us here in western Colorado is wind. Tomorrow, the winds gust into the 20 to 30 mile per hour range, and then they'll step up and gust up into the 35 to 45 mile per hour range on Friday. Remember, we're in a drought, so the dry ground, the dry vegetation added to that wind means we have a potential wildfire issue. This is our fire weather product from our future cast. Any color on this is a bad thing, all right? And the more color, the worse off we are. So this is by the time we get to noon tomorrow, we see some spots of yellow and orange, bad enough. But as we go through the afternoon, we start to see more orange and even some red over parts of Utah, indicating uh, an increasingly likely situation where if a fire starts, it can spread out of control quickly. Good news, bad news. The good news first, this diminishes overnight Thursday into early Friday morning. But when it comes back on Friday, it comes back even stronger. That fire uh, reflection here on our on our future cast. We see a lot of red in the valleys here by lunchtime on Friday and certainly throughout the afternoon. I say that to say this. If you have plans for outdoor burning, don't do it on Thursday or Friday. Wait until the weather is a little bit more favorable to contain any fires that do start. We don't want to help that uh, out any. It's good, though, that this does back off on Friday night and some moisture over the weekend will help to further ease that fire threat for us. Things are quiet right now, but our moisture is going to come from this area of low pressure that's just offshore from the Pacific Northwest here. This is going to track down the coast tonight, and then tomorrow it swings inland over California and Nevada, bringing rain and high elevation snow along with it. And then by Friday, especially between about noon and 6 p.m., right there, we start to see rain and snow beginning to develop first over the mountains and then Friday night will fill in on the valleys with rain mainly that may change to snow by Saturday morning. Saturday morning is very snowy. Some of this is going to be heavy up in the mountains. It gradually diminishes, but it doesn't necessarily go away through most of Saturday and we even see some rain lingering here on the western slope. Saturday night by midnight, we're mostly finished with it and then what's lingering on Sunday morning over the northern mountains will gradually fade to an end by about midday on Sunday. Now you're Thursday. It's turning windy, but we'll still have plenty of sun. It will be warm too. You see the 70s tomorrow afternoon, but we'll warm through the 40s, 50s, and 60s before lunchtime and into those 70s after about the noon hour. There's a live look outside from on top of the Alpine Bank building downtown. It's a beautiful shot with just a few clouds up there over the book cliffs and over Mount Garfield. 70 degrees is the temperature, so it's warm. We did manage to hit that 70 at the airport. We'll step down through the 60s and to near 60 through 8 o'clock this evening under a clear sky. Our lows in the morning will mostly be in the mid to upper 30s to perhaps lower and middle 40s around Grand Junction, then tomorrow's highs are going to be in the low to mid 70s with that gusty wind. Again, in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 miles per hour, the wind gets a little stronger on Friday. I do think Friday during the day is going to be dry. It's Friday night and especially Saturday where we have the valley rain, the mountain snow picking up. Then Sunday starts clearing out. I am concerned though because we have the big solar eclipse on Monday and it will be visible even here, although we won't necessarily see totality here in western Colorado. Colorado. Still, almost two-thirds of the sun will be covered by the moon when the eclipse happens on Monday, and it peaks just after 1230, right at 1234 in the afternoon, in fact. And I point that out to say the weather may not be in our favor, and the farther south we are, the more cloudy we're likely to be as an upper-level low-pressure circulation passes over northern New Mexico. That could mean some rain way down south as early as Monday also, but it may mean a little bit of rain for us as well on Tuesday, and those clouds are going to slow that warming trend that starts to pick up after Saturday's rain and snow finally comes to an end and that warming trend commences there on Sunday.